Hi guys, welcome back to Sunsets and Bellinis. If you're new here, my name's Tanya, and today we're going to talk about the 10 essentials for a photo shoot. When you're going to a photo shoot, you want to make sure you're prepared. And by prepared, I mean your body, your brain, and your bag. So let's start by the body. So what I mean by that is that you want to make sure that you're ready for any type of photo. So you want to make sure that your legs are shaved. Um, if you shave anything else, make sure it's done. I personally also shave my arms. I know it's not like recommended. But my hair is very blonde and so it doesn't grow back stiff or like black or anything. So I just do it. Um, but you do what you want to do. And you also want to make sure that your skin is moisturized. So you don't want to come with any makeup unless the photographer asks for it or the client or whoever it is. Um, if there's no makeup artist, you do your own makeup, that's fine. But if not, if there's a makeup artist provided, make sure that you put moisturizer, nothing else, and on your body as well. You don't want to have like a dry looking skin in all of your pictures. So what I personally recommend is to get a dry oil because a moisturizer, yes, it'll hydrate you. But a dry oil will give you like that nice shine without staining clothes and without being oily. What I use is from Victoria's Secret. I'll insert a picture if I can find it. There's different fragrances and different brands, so just find whatever works for you. That's it for body. You want to make sure you're moisturized, you're shaved, and you're ready to go. Still connected to that, you want to make sure that you have no jewelry. So take off your rings, take off your earrings, your necklaces, whatever it is. Take it off. When you're going to a photo shoot, you want to be a blank canvas. You want to be ready to have everything put on you, whether that be makeup, um, even like body paint, or jewelry. You want to make sure you don't have your own. Now let's get into what you bring in your bag. If it's like a TFP shoot or a situation where you need to bring your own outfits, then pack your outfits. And when I say pack your outfits, I mean pack different outfit choices. So don't come with four different all black outfits. Like try to vary in style and color and patterns and I'm gonna be making a video very soon on how to choose outfits and build like nice outfits for your photo shoots and I think I'm actually gonna make it as a vlog so that I can actually go shopping with you guys and show you how like I style the pieces together and what I'm kind of looking for. For now, just take your outfits. <laughs> if you have like if a photographer and you guys or the client or whoever agreed on a specific outfit just bring that. Along with that make sure you have good underwear. Uh, you don't want to show up with like a neon pink bra that's gonna show through every single picture. Uh, you wanna make sure you have good nude underwear so that's your bra and your panties. And you also wanna make sure that you have a strapless bra in case there's like a shirt that requires a bra but no straps. And super duper important, bring nippies. If you don't know what nippies are, nippies are life. Nippies are with me every time I go to a photo shoot. Nippies, and I'm gonna insert links down below, are those little sticky pads that you put on your boobs. And I really recommend the, the fabric ones that are nude. Um, I've personally had the silicone ones that are kind of pinkish. Um, and I find that you kind of see them through. So the, the fabric one is the one that mimics the most a nude bra. And I personally find that they're just the best. So have good underwear, have your nippies, and that way, whatever outfit it is, you'll be comfortable wearing it. I've been in a situation before where I was on a shoot and the creative director told me that they could see my bra. And it wasn't, I'm pretty sure it was like a black bra with a black top, but like the strap or something was showing. And therefore, I had to take it off. Um, but I felt uncomfortable the whole time because the top was kind of loose and like every time I did a movement, I felt like you could see under the shirt. And therefore, be prepared. With, by having nippies or having whatever you need, you'll feel comfortable and you'll be able to focus on the shoot, which is actually your job, rather than focusing on like, like something showing and just stressing. So be prepared. Next in your bag, you should have your makeup essentials. Now, I've said before that if there's a makeup artist, you come with nothing, and that is true. But I always like to bring a little makeup bag because I want to make sure that if the makeup artist for some reason flakes, I don't get there and have nothing to put on my face and then they have to reschedule and blah, blah, blah. Have your foundation, your concealer, your 
mascara, your like whatever you need for your eyebrows, whatever you need to do the base of your makeup and maybe like an eyeshadow palette. That way you're prepared for whatever scenario it is. In a case where there's no makeup artist provided, you're gonna come to the shoot with makeup already. The photographer might ask to switch it up, he might tell you you have too much makeup, not enough makeup, want to change the eye look halfway through, and you don't want to be in a situation where you're like, Because then you're wasting the photographer's time and you're wasting your own time because you're gonna end up with photos that all look the same and when you're gonna try to use those photos for your book people will know that they were all from the same photo shoot because you have exactly the same makeup just make sure you have your makeup essentials same goes for your hair you know your hair best even if there's a hairstylist or makeup artist that can help you with your hair you need to bring a hairbrush hair ties and hairspray you never know what sort of thing they're gonna want to do with your hair and so hairspray can just be a savior you can like smooth the flyaways you can sleek your hair you can do whatever they need you to do they might ask you to come with your hair down and then suddenly decide they want a high pony and if you don't have a hairbrush and a hair tie what are you gonna do so the next thing you want to pack are heels i would say to always have a black pair of heel and a nude pair of heels that way you're kind of set for any sort of look if there's a problem, the shoes don't fit, or like just if something happens, you have your own heels that you're comfortable wearing. You don't want to be at a photo shoot where someone misunderstood and brought a size 7 and you're a size 8.5 and, and your feet are just like squeezed in and you just want to cry because it hurts and you can't cry because it hurts because it's your job and you just have to suck it up. So make sure you have your own stuff. If you're ready, probably never be in a situation where you're uncomfortable. So you want to come to a photo shoot with your essentials in your bags, with your body prepared, and you want to prepare your mind. So before a photo shoot, you should always know what the photo shoot is going to be about. So you should know if it's going to be close up, if it's going to be like full body, if it's focused on movement, or if it's super posy, or if there's a theme because you want to do your homework. You want to make sure that you know what kind of poses you're gonna do throughout the shoot so that you're not stuck on set being like, uh, I've used up all of my poses, like what do I do next? To make sure you're prepared, you want to look for inspiration. So every time I go on a photo shoot, I actually create like a folder, either on my camera roll or on Pinterest or on Instagram, and I just save pictures that I think fit whatever I'm going to shoot. If I'm on set and I have like, no idea, no inspiration, I'll just look at those pictures and I'll also look at them before I start shooting. So while they're setting up their equipment, I'll quickly go through that folder to kind of remind myself what sort of like angles I can play with, like if I should play with my arms, with my legs, jump, whatever it is, just grab information. And the last tip I'm gonna talk about for today which still has to do with mine, is to prepare a playlist. That way, if you're on set, you can actually give them choices. You can be like, I like soca music, I like 90s music, and I, not, I like anything pop. That way, they can kind of go with whatever within your choices kind of suits them. And lastly, I know it's not part of the top, but have fun. Just be confident, have fun. If you're a model, you know how to do it. Just trust yourself and have fun. So that's it, you guys. Please give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know in the comments what your essentials are for photo shoots. And yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.